Jane Fraser is making history as Wall Street's first major CEO for a Wall Street bank when she becomes CEO of Citigroup next year. Now, she will succeed, Fraser will succeed Michael Corbett when she takes over. It'll be in February. She's currently president of Citigroup and head of global consumer banking. In 2018, she spoke to Poppy Harlow about breaking the glass ceiling. Do you think, because you have been called the number one woman to watch for consecutive years uh, by American Banker, it has a lot of people wondering, murmuring, whether you may be the first woman to be CEO of a major American bank. I think the piece that's most exciting out there is the fact that we've got a different generation running banks. Um, who I think have a mu are much more in tune with what's going on. And I look forward to seeing a woman being the first CEO of a Wall Street firm, um, whoever that may be. Is it a dream? Is it a goal one day, either CEO of Citi or CEO of one of the other big banks, to break that proverbial glass ceiling, but also because you know you could do it? I do feel I'm running a business and running a bank today. I have um, the privilege of running the National Bank of Mexico with my colleagues down in Mexico and you know, a, a very large organization. And sometimes it's, it is much more fun to be able to run a division of a business because it's, it's not the same limelight as it is when you're running a public organization. I never had the ambition to be the CEO of the of City or of any other organization. Um, things can change over time, but at the moment, I've, I've still got a lot to learn. Poppy Harlow is with me. Poppy, what was she like? Um, she, very self-effacing, modest, uh, but, but you, you spent some time talking to her. I did. I spent a lot of time. We spent about an hour uh, speaking in that interview. Richard, here's what I'll say. She is 100% herself. And here's the quote that says her best. When she got all of these negative headlines as a woman leading Citigroup's Latin America business because she was a woman, sexist, right, headlines, she said to me, quote, there's no point in out machismoing the men in senior management. I can be feminine. I can be tough. I use that as a strength. She is easy to talk to. She is direct. And she hates corporate right. speak. Now, the, I am just amazed, you know, look, in our business, women have risen to the top of editorships uh, and the like of, of programmes and networks. I, I'm amazed that we are still amazed that somebody hasn't, a woman hasn't been head of a Wall Street bank. Yeah, because it hasn't happened before and there have been way too many excuses, Richard. The number one excuse at banks has been, well, there aren't as many in the pipeline that haven't risen as far. Well, why, why do you think that is, right? It's about truly equal opportunity. And finally, we have this. She is more than qualified to take this job. I mean, what I find very interesting about her is she took over Richard City's mortgage business right after the meltdown, right? She was the person tasked with cleaning up that mess after the DOJ settlement and fixing the bank's, frankly, reputation. Uh, Poppy, um, family, her family life yeah. is about to become clearly more under scrutiny, and that includes her husband. Uh, it's nice, you know, it really is nice to be talking, not worried about what the wife says, but what's the husband <laughs> going to make of it? Yeah, you know, I think people, there will probably be a lot of people saying, oh, what does her husband think? I actually think it's a very germane and relevant question, Richard, and here's why. She, they have two kids, two grown kids now. She told me in detail about when the kids were younger, they sat down. Her, her husband was a high-powered banker himself, very successful. They sat down and said, one of us has to pull back, right? Jane was part-time when their kids were little. And he offered later, I will pull back my career so that you can accelerate. And guess what happened as a result? <laughs> he was discriminated against. She told me how much flack he took from people because men aren't supposed to do that, right? And so it'll be very interesting to see how she leads uh, both being a mother as a woman, as a very well-qualified executive who has that experience of her own family going through that discrimination. Poppy, always glad to have you. Thank you. You're doing double duty, having done everything else, <laughs> and coming in to talk to us this evening. Oh. It is a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you, Poppy Harlow. Of course. Uh, so, now.